We'll separate our feet, what's known as hip width apart. It's uh, not very wide apart. It's about four or five inches apart. And we'll bend our knees and put our hands on our thighs. Look up to the ceiling, arch your spine. Look into your belly and round your spine. Do that three more times. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do it two more. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Do it one more. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, round and look in. Push off your thighs, come to stand up. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. And then dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, come up to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Dive right back down, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, fold. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Dive forward, the arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Bend your knees and step your right leg long back behind. Step your left leg, you're in the plank position. So you're in what looks like the top of a push-up. Your shoulders are forward right over your wrist and your legs are backwards nice and long and straight. Your feet are apart those same four or five inches they were apart when you were at the front of the mat. Make sure that your hips are elevated, that your hips are not sagging so that you have this nice strong long line of your spine. Then bend your elbows to point them backwards and lower yourself all the way to lay down on the floor. Point your feet and then your elbows are pointed backwards as well. Lift your heart with your elbows pointed in close to your waist. You're in a baby cobra. Lower your forehead down. Do that three more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Do it one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Tuck your toes and push yourself up to that plank position. Go upwards and backwards. You're in a downward facing dog. Your body looks like it's in an upside down V. Look between your hands and walk your feet forward in between your hands. The feet land forward. The feet are hip width apart and parallel to each other. Inhale, come up to a flat back. It's a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step your right leg long back behind. You're in what's called a low lunge. Take your right knee into your chest. Your knee is into your chest. Your foot is off the ground and that right foot is flexed. Then go back to a low lunge. We'll do it again. The knee comes in and lunge. Three, lunge. Four, lunge. Five, lunge. Six, lunge. Seven, lunge. Eight, lunge. Take that knee into your chest. You're going to take your right leg forward and come to sit down. Clasp your hands over your left shin, sitting up nice and tall. Take your left hand behind you on high finger pads. Take your right arm to the ceiling. Take your right elbow outside your left knee and turn and twist to the left. Keep your legs as they are. Unwind your torso and arms back to center. Clasp your hands over your left shin. Lean backwards and take your left foot off the ground. Your left foot is flexed. Come to lay down with your left knee into your chest, clasping your hands over your left shin. Use your right hand on the outside of the left knee to take the left knee across your body over to the right side. Your left arm goes out to the side and your palm is face up. So that left arm is shoulder height. It's like half of a T shape. Look to your left thumb. You're in a twist. Look to the ceiling, come to lay down with your left knee into your chest. You're clasping your hands over your left shin. Take both knees into your chest, right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. Rock on your spine, forward and back, forward and back. Come to sit up, cross your legs. Take your hands to the floor out in front of you. You're gonna lift your butt and you'll be on your knees with your legs crossed. 
then uncross your legs, come back to the front of your mat. You're in all fours, hands and knees. Keep the toes tucked and the knees apart. Go up onto high finger pads. Take your hands to your hip bones. Step your right foot forward, keep the knee bent. Step your left foot forward, keep the knee bent. Reach your arms up by your ears, you're in a chair pose. Bring your torso parallel to the ground and reach your arms out to the side. Then reach your arms backwards, your palms face up. So we'll take the arms forward, side, back, three, forward, side, back, four, forward, side, back, five, forward, side, back, six, forward, side, back, seven, forward, side, back, eight, forward, side, back. Reach your arms up by your ears. Your butt is coming down low. Take your hands down outside of your feet, your same exact right foot. Step your right foot back, you're in a low lunge. Take your whole back foot down, come up to a warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. You have a whole lot of length between your legs and you also have this width of the feet, hip width apart, like you're standing on imaginary train tracks. Turn your T-shaped arms to me and keep your arms in this T. Lift your back heel and pivot the heel to the sky. You're in a high lunge with your arms in a T. Keep the arms in a T and float forward your back leg off the ground. You're in a warrior three. Swim your arms forward, the palms face each other, shoulder distance apart. Keep the arms by the ears, rise up, your right knee is into your chest. Straighten your right leg out in front of you and then lower the right leg down. You're in an Utita Hasta in Tadasana. Your arms are lifted to the sky. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step your way backwards to a downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to the sky. Take your right knee into your chest. Take your right knee outside your left elbow. Straighten your right leg and lengthen this leg away from you. The outside of your foot is down. Take the outside of your right hip down. Point your back foot and take your elbows down. There's a rectangle shape between your forearms. Turn and look to the right. You're in a twist. Look between your thumbs, tuck your back toes, and lift your back knee. We're going to come out to a forearm plank, so unthread your right leg back behind you. You're in a forearm plank. Just pause here without your hips sinking too much, without your hips elevated too much, so you're parallel to the ground. From this forearm plank, make your way back to a regular plank and a downward facing dog. Look between your hands and walk your feet forward in between your hands. Your feet land hip width and parallel. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, fold over. Step your same exact right leg, it's still the right leg, far back behind. Take your whole back foot down. Reach your arms forward and up. You're in a warrior one. Take your left hand to your upper back. Take your right arm out to the side. Turn your thumb down and take the back of your hand up your back. Lean backwards and straighten your front leg going further back. Keep your front leg straight and come forward only parallel to the ground. So your left elbow and your chest is reaching, the, reaching forward, but you're parallel to the ground, not parallel to the front side. Then release your hands to your front ankle and drop your head. Now your torso is parallel to your front thigh. Tug your left hip crease backwards and your right hip bone forward as you drop your head. Bend your front knee, take your hands to high finger pads, framing your front foot. Lift your back heel, you're in a low lunge. Reach your arms forward and up. You're in a high lunge. Descend your back knee down and point your back foot. Lean backwards as you send your hips and your front knee forward. So your upper body's leaning back, but your lower body's coming forward. You're in an Anjane Asana. You're opening your heart to the sky. 
It's a stretch for the top of your right hip flexor, the top of your right thigh. Keep your arms by your ears. Come forward and down to high finger pads, framing your front foot. Tuck your back toes. Oh, you know what? Before you tuck the back, yeah, let's tuck the back toes, but keep your back knee down. Move your hips backwards and straighten your front leg by sliding your left foot forward and flexing your left foot so the sole of the foot is exposed. It's like a runner stretch. Take your left arm to the sky and look up to see your thumb. You're in a twist. Breathe here. Lower this hand down, bend your front knee. The sole of the foot is now down on the ground. The back toes are already tucked. Lift your back knee and walk your back foot forward. Inhale, come to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way off. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step backwards to a downward facing dog, then come forward to plank. Bend your elbows, lower yourself all the way to the ground. Point your toes and lift your heart. You're in a baby cobra. Lower yourself back down. Tuck your toes and push yourself up to a plank position, then downward facing dog. Let's do that again, coming forward to plank, but this time only go halfway down, chaturanga. Pull through, up dog, lifting your heart and pointing your toes. Go backwards, downward facing dog. Let's add to that, come forward to plank, go halfway down, chaturanga. Pull through, up dog, your feet are pointed and your knees are off the ground. Let's go back to a chaturanga. So you're tucking the toes and bending your elbows. Then push yourself up to a plank. Go backwards, downward facing dog. Look between your hands and walk your feet forward to the front. Your feet get separated hip width and parallel. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold over. Let's do all those series on the second side. Take your left leg long back behind. You're in a low lunge. Take your back knee into your chest and then extend to a lunge. So it's two in and lunge. Three, lunge. Four, lunge. Five, lunge. Six, lunge. Seven, lunge. Eight, lunge. Take the left knee into your chest. Take the left leg forward as you sit down. Clasp your hands over your right shin. Let's lean, oh, let's take the right hand behind, left arm to the ceiling, left elbow outside the front knee, turn and twist to the right. Breathe here as you send your shoulders down your back. Keep the legs as they are, unwind your torso and arms to center, clasping your hands over your shin, lean backwards and lift the right foot off the mat, the sole of the foot is exposed, you're flexing your foot. Come to lay down with your right knee into your chest. Your left leg is long, stretching away from you. Use your left hand to take the right knee across your body to the left. Your right arm goes out to the right side. Your palm is face up. That right arm is in line with your shoulder. Turn and look to your right hand. You're in a twist. Breathe here. Come to lay down on your back with your right knee into your chest, clasping your hands over your shin. Take both knees into the chest, right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. Rock yourself forward and back on your spine that you come to sit up and cross your legs. Put your hands on the floor out in front of you and come onto your knees with your legs crossed. Then uncross that you're coming to the front of the mat to an all fours position with your hands under your shoulders and your toes tucked. Take your hands to your hip bones, step your left foot forward, then your right foot forward, reach your arms up by your ears with your knees bent, you're in a chair pose. 
bring your torso and arms parallel to the ground, swim your arms out to the side and then backwards. So the arms will come forward, side, back, three, forward, side, back, four, forward, side, back, five, forward, side, back, six, forward, side, back, seven, forward, side, back, eight forward, side back, reach your arms forward and up by your ears, bring your torso parallel to the wall out in front of you. Let's stand up, turn the palms out, dive forward and down. Inhale, lift to a flat back tabletop, exhale, fold over. That same exact left foot, step your left foot backwards, take your whole back foot down. Reverse cartwheel your arms, come up to a warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Make sure you have a lot of length between your legs, that you're lengthening that back foot far back, and that left foot is over to the left, and the left toes are facing forward. So you're standing up with the legs not only long apart, but they have this hip width apart as well. Keep your arms wide and unwind to me that you're facing me with T-shaped arms. Then lift your back heel and pivot the heel to the sky. You're in a high lunge with your arms in a T-shape. Float forward that your back leg comes off the ground, that your torso and back leg are parallel to the ground in a warrior three. Reach your arms forward, the palms face each other, shoulder distance apart, then rise up with the arms up, the left knee into your chest. Lengthen the left leg straight out in front of you. Then keep this leg straight and lower it down. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, lift to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step backwards to a downward facing dog, Atta Mukha Svanasana. Lift your left leg to the sky behind you. It's a down dog split. Take your left knee in towards your chest. Take your left knee outside your right elbow. Lengthen your left leg under this right arm so the pinky blade of the foot is down, the leg is straight. Send this leg further away from you so you can get the outside of your left hip down. Point your back foot and bring your elbows down onto the mat. There's a rectangle between your forearms. Turn your nose to look to the left. You're in a twist. Look between your thumbs and tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. We're coming out to a forearm plank. So unthread your left leg. It's back behind you. You're in a forearm plank. Here, you want to make sure that you're parallel to the ground, that your hips are not hiked up too high or sagging too low. You're just parallel to the ground. Make your way to a regular plank and then to downward facing dog. Look between your hands and walk your feet forward in between your hands. You're in a forward bend at the front edge of your mat with your feet separated. Inhale to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Step your left leg, that same left leg backwards. Take the whole back foot down. Reach your arms forward and up. You're in a warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Take your right hand to tap your upper back. Take your left hand out to the side. Turn your thumb down and reach this back hand up your back. Let's lean backwards. We'll straighten the front leg and lean further back. Then come forward, only parallel to the ground, that your right elbow is reaching forward, your chest is reaching forward, parallel to the ground. Then take your hands to your front ankle and drop your head. Now your torso is parallel to your front leg. Your right hip crease is tugging backwards and your left hip crease forward as you drop your head. Feel a stretch in the back of your right hamstring. Bend your front knee and take your hands to high finger pads, framing your front foot. Lift your back heel, pivot the heel to the sky. You're in a low lunge. Reach your arms forward and up. You're in a high lunge. Take your back knee down, point your back foot, lean backwards with your torso and arms, but forward with your hips and your knees. So everything from your waist down is coming forward. Everything from your waist up is leaning backwards, as if you are stretching yourself over a huge beach ball behind you. 
keep your arms by your ears, come forward and down to high finger pads, tuck your back toes and tug your hips backwards so your right leg gets straight, slide your right foot forward so you expose the sole of the foot forward, you're flexing your right foot. Take your right arm to the ceiling, you're in a twist. Lower this hand down, rebend the right knee, the sole of the foot is down. Tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Walk your back foot forward. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and up. Dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, come to a tabletop. Exhale, fold forward. Step your left foot and right foot to a downward facing dog. Come forward to plank, bend your elbows, only go halfway down to the ground. You're in one straight line. Don't let your hips sag. Pull through upward facing dog. You're tucking your toes and your knees are off the ground. Go backwards, downward facing dog. Let's do the variation we did before. We'll come forward to plank, go halfway down, chaturanga, pull through up dog, Go back to Chaturanga. So you're tucking the toes and bending your elbows. You're parallel to the ground. Straighten your elbows. You're in a plank. Go to downward facing dog. Look between your hands and bend your knees and hop your feet forward in between your hands. Inhale, come to a flat back. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Clasp your hands behind your head and stretch yourself over to your right and just stay here, breathe here. Then come back to center. Let's take the arms out in front of us. They're still clasped, but change the clasping by one digit. Then turn the palms away and then reach the arms behind your head. Stretch over to your left. Stay here, breathe here. Come back to center, release your hands down. Take your hands to hold your hip bones. Take your legs wide apart. Turn your toes forward and take your arms up to a V shape. Your entire body looks like a letter F. Take your left hand to your left hip bone. Take your right hand to tap your left foot. Your legs stay straight and then come back up. Seven, tap and lift. Six, tap and lift. Five, tap and lift. Four, tap and lift. Three, tap and lift. Two, tap and lift. One, tap. Take both arms to that letter V. Your entire body looks like a letter X. Take your right hand to your right hip bone. Keep your legs straight. Take the left hand to tap your right foot and come up. Two, tap and lift. Three, tap and lift, four tap and lift, five tap and lift, six tap and lift, seven tap and lift, eight tap and lift. Take both arms up back to that letter V, your body in a letter F. Take your hands to your hip bones, come forward parallel to the ground, take your hands forward under your shoulders, your heels stay down, but your torso comes forward parallel to the ground. Keep your heels down and see if you can walk your hands even further forward with your heels down, torso parallel to the ground. Go up onto high finger pads and move your hands very close together. Then take your right arm to the ceiling, look up to see your thumb. You're in a twist. Bring your right hand down close to the left hand. Take the left arm to the ceiling. Look up to see your thumb. You're in a twist. Take both hands down. Walk your hands backwards. Take your right hand to hold your right ankle, left hand to hold your left ankle. Drop your head. Take both of your hands over to the outside of your right ankle. Take your left arm to the sky. You're in a twist. See if you can keep your hips parallel to the ground instead of hiking your right hip up. Stay stretching to the right. Take both hands to your right ankle. 
switch it over to the left, both hands to the outside of the left ankle. Take your left arm to the ceiling, look up to see your thumb, but keep your hips in a neutral position that your left hip is not hiked up higher than the right. Stay stretching to the left, take both hands to the outside of the left ankle. Let's go back to splitting the hands, right hand, right ankle, left hand, left ankle, drop your head. Take your hands down under your shoulders, go to high finger pads, the hands are shoulder distance apart, straighten your elbows. Bend your knees that the knees are facing forward and your toes are facing forward. Walk your hands over to the right, your hands are inside of your right foot. Bend your right knee and straighten your left leg. The toes face forward, the knees face forward. Right knee is bent and left leg is straight. Walk your hands through center all the way to the left side. Your left knee is bent and your right leg is straight. The knees face forward and the toes face forward. Let's do it a few times. Go over to the right and left. Go over to the right and left. Go over to the right and left. Let's do it four more times. For right, left. Three right, left. Two right, left. One right, left. Come back to center, both legs get straight. Take your hands to your hips, come up to a flat back. Come all the way to stand. Heel toe your feet, that your feet come under your hips. So your feet are only five or six inches apart and parallel. Reach your arms straight up to the sky, your palms face forward. Keep your legs straight and dive forward. Your hands touch your toes. Bend your knees and reach your arms to the ceiling. Push down into your feet, rise up, lower your hands down by your side. Inhale your arms out and up, dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, come to a flat back, exhale, fold over. Bend your knees and drop your head. Let your head and your neck go, then straighten your legs as best you can. Bend your knees. Then straighten your legs as best you can. Two more, bend and straighten. One more, bend and straighten. Sweep your arms out and all the way up. Stay standing tall, just lower your hands down. Take your hands to hold your hip bones. Your fingers are forward, your thumbs are back. Lift your right knee into your chest and lightly take your hands to hold the, foot, the knee. So not clasping hands, just a light little touch and then the foot comes down. That same right knee comes up, it's a light little touch, and come down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down. Seven, down. Eight, do it with your left knee. It's a light little touch with the hand, and then the foot comes down. Two, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down, seven, down. Let's alternate right knee, left knee, right, left, two, left, three, left, four, left, five, left, six, left, seven, left, eight, left. Come to stand, take your hands to your hip bones. Have the right heel tap your right butt cheek so the knee is bending behind you. Reach your right arm up and then back behind. Your right hand holds the top of the right foot, you're pointing the foot. Now instead of reaching this knee away from you, bring your two knees together. Stand upright so your right hand is pulling the right foot backwards, but you have this isometric stretch that the knee is trying to pull forward. So the knee ends up just pointing straight to the ground. Reach your left arm to the ceiling and connect your left index finger and your left thumb in a tiny little circle. Let's release everything, the feet are apart. Take your hands to your hip bones. Take your left heel to your left butt cheek, your knee is bending. 
take your left arm to the ceiling, reach the arm backwards, your left hand holds the top of the left foot, bring the knees together, and you have this sense like your left hand is pulling the left foot backwards, but the left knee is trying to tug forward. So the knee ends up just pointing straight down to the ground. Reach your right arm to the ceiling, connect your right thumb and index finger in this little circle. Lower the hand down, take the foot down, sweep your arms out and up, dive forward, your arms go out to the sides and down. Inhale, come to a flat back tabletop. Exhale, fold over. See if it's possible to keep your heels down, but to lift up the balls of your feet so you can slip your hands under your feet. So your palms are face up under the feet. The back of your hands are down to the mat. Drop your head. It's a stretch for your legs. It's a stretch for your wrists. Your hands are under the feet. Breathe here. Straighten your legs as best you can. Let your head and your neck go. It's almost like your toes are massaging your wrist. Release your hands. Inhale, come to a tabletop. Exhale, fold over. Sweep your arms out and up. Take your hands to a high prayer. Then lower your prayer hands in front of your heart. 